Hello, in today's video, we will be covering a unique upcoming Roblox game called Scarlet Moon. What is Scarlet Moon? Scarlet Moon is a roguelike game heavily inspired by Dark Souls. This is being developed by Snake Will, a well-known developer who has made many other games like ABA and Dragon Ball Z Final Stand. The game will be either solo or co-op throughout the entire campaign. Like Dark Souls, each area will have its own boss, and you fight enemies on the way to the boss, picking up loot and items to help you on your journey. Areas will connect to many other areas as you progress through the game. Currently, there's no release date, but the owner Snake World has said he wants to release it mid-summer of 2022. Will this game be open world like Elden Ring. No, it will not be an open world game, said by Snake World himself. Though you will be able to interact with other players throughout the game if you don't have any friends to play with. Will Scarlet Moon be free to play? Sadly, it won't be free to play. Scarlet Moon will be 800 Robux on release and during sales, it will drop down to 400 Robux. Snake has said this because this game has is meant to have the content of a full Souls game, meaning between 20 to 40 hours worth of content. That's a lot of content for a Roblox game. He also expects a flushed out new game plus system, which is basically after you beat the game, when you play it again, it's different with multiple challenge run modes for replayability. While you may be like, that's crazy. They will be releasing a free demo to see if you like this type of game. You will also start with infinite character slots. Speaking of character slots, how is character creation for Scarlet Moon? For character creation, Scarlet Moon has five classes. Samurai, Ninja, Monk, Priest, and Farmer. They all start with different gear and abilities aside from Farmer. The Farmer is equivalent to the Wretched or Deprived classes from Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Every other class also has a goal they have. A Samurai's goal is to defeat seven legendary swordsmen. A Ninja's goal is to assassinate some number of bosses. I'll have a list up on the screen if you want to pause and check out. But on top of all of that, each class also starts with different items and gear. Samurai start with light samurai gear and a katana. Ninjas start with shinobi outfit and a katana. Monks start out with monk outfit, kung fu, and some spells. Priests start with a priest outfit, a naginata, and some spells. The samurai is the Dark Souls equivalent to a samurai. Ninja is Dark Souls equivalent to a thief. Monk is a Dark Souls equivalent to pyromancer. Priest is Dark Souls equivalent to cleric. And farmer is Dark Souls equivalent to deprived. Deprived start with nothing and no goals, basically the farmer. All classes start with different stats based around their build. Uh, Snake World hasn't mentioned their stats yet, but we can check out Infernasu's videos on the game as he has tested the game before. I'll leave a link to his video in the description. Now let's move on to the sneak peeks we have gotten from Snake World himself on his Discord. Here you can see a ghost that's other player ghosts. So when players do something, you can see recordings of their ghosts, what they're doing. If you have played a Dark Souls game before, you probably know what I'm talking about. And this is something really random I found on the Discord, but it's pretty cool. You see this recording of someone running through this busy town and while he's running, he's pushing the crowd out of the way. Snake said this is one of his favorite features from Assassin's Creed series. 
and he implemented it into the game, which I find really cool, and it looks really well. Here you can see character creation with a randomized button. Uh, extremely hideous combinations, but hey, I'm glad they added a randomized button for those people who want to make insanely weird combinations with themselves. That pink hair is crazy. We got a flame ball. Um, classic flame ball, pyromancer spell from Dark Souls series. Priest probably get that. And now you see bonfire type place. You also see in the background someone walking across a bridge. That's really cool as I can tell that is probably an enemy you have to fight. And that enemies in this game don't stand still, they actually move around. Which is really cool because in Dark Souls that's also a feature. So I like how they implemented that as it makes the game a lot more realistic and creepy. And harder too. Instead of SS flasks in this game, you drink tea. Um, and it looks really cool when you drink tea. There's this aura that surrounds your body, and it looks and works pretty well. Cool. Yeah, I like this game so far. With all the sneak peeks, it's turning out to be a really, really good Dark Souls-inspired game. Which would be really cool to see done correctly on Roblox. I think everyone will agree with me because Elden Ring did really well. And it's not a Dark Souls game, but made from the creators and it worked. Um, hopefully Snake does well on this. And it, it does good because this game so far is really amazing. If you like this video and stay till the end, please hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.